making sure that my bail is closed. I'm checking my pattern, making sure it's on a straight stream right to fight. I'm also checking my GPMs. That is at 200 GPMs for our two and a half inch uh, nozzles. The importance of why we're checking our stream to make sure it's a straight stream and not a fog is we don't want to disrupt that thermal balance when we're in interior fire attack. If we're an interior fire attack and we are on a fog pattern, a wide fog, it could disrupt that balance and steam out the whole crew and visibility will be non-existent. Uh, why we want a straight stream is because we want the most GPMs and we want to hit that seat of the fire so we can take out those BTUs in the fire as fast as possible. That's good solid form. How far can we move it to the right? 15 degrees, sir. That's 15 degrees. Demonstrate. Okay, back to center. How far can we fill it to the left? 15 degrees, sir. Demonstrate. And back to center. How far can we go up? Solid form. Return to center. How far can we go down? Good form. Return to center. And at this position, can you adjust the stream pattern? Yes, sir. Demonstrate. All the way to the left demonstrates a fog. Yep. All the way to the right for life. Firefighter downs, I need you to hold the two and a half unrestricted with no assistance and no straps. Copy, yes sir. So the method that you're demonstrating today is the ears into the shoulder, also known as over the head. Yes sir. Firefighter downs, how far can we move the stream to the right? Can you reach, sir. Demonstrate. Back to center. How far can we position the stream to the left? 15 degrees, sir. 15 degrees. Demonstrate. Back to center. How far up can we go? As safe as possible. Yes, Return to center. How far down can we position the stream? As safe as possible. Return to center. Firefighter downs, I need you to adjust the stream to a fog stream. Return to normal. And now I need you to return to a straight stream. Firefighter Downs, I need you to hold the two and a half with our hose strap. Copy, yes sir. Firefighter Downs is taking out his hose strap measuring at the correct location, placing a lark's foot, also known as a girth hitch. With that loop, he's going to place it over his opposing shoulder and step into the hose strap, placing tension on the hose strap and securing the hose over his hip. Both firefighters are demonstrating holding the two and a half in a two-person method. This two-person method is achieved with equal spacing between the two firefighters. Both feet are making contact but are not required for a stable position while holding the two and a half. In this position, the back firefighter will direct the front firefighter for the hose stream placement. Hose stream up. The back firefighter will position the hose down, making it easier to point the hose stream above. Return. Return. Hose stream down. The back firefighter will lift the hose up, allowing the front firefighter to position the hose stream down. Return. Go ahead and shut it down. The 
method being demonstrated is a two-person firefighter hold on the two and a half inch hose line. This positioning is achieved by each firefighter holding each ear on the nozzle. They're in a position of stability, securing the hose with one hand, with one hand on the bale. Correction, one hand on the ear. You guys can shut it down. All right, gentlemen, I need you to hold the two and a half for five minutes with the assistance of a hose strap. Take your hose straps out, measure the appropriate distance, and flow the hose. Copy. Copy. Both firefighters are taking out their red utility strap, also known as their hose strap. Copy. They're measuring the appropriate distance, securing a girth hitch, also known as a lark's foot, at the terminal end of the loop. They're placing it over their far shoulder, stepping into the loop. allowing the girth hitch to set on the hose and control the flow of water through the two and a half inch nozzle. Firefighter Downs, I need you to position the hose up. Move it up. Return to center. Return to center. I need you to position it down. Bring it down. Return to center. Return to center. I need you to flow it right, 15 degrees. Demonstrate. Right, 15 degrees. Return to center. Return to center. I need you to flow it left, 15 degrees. Go left, 15 degrees. Return to center. Return to center. Continue to flow. Yeah. Gentlemen, I need you to hold the two and a half inch hose with the assistance of the hose strap. You can use a two person method with both straps side by side. I need you guys to position the hose up. Return to center. I need you to position the hose down. Return to center. I need you to position the hose 15 degrees to the left. Return to center. I need you to position the hose 15 degrees to the right. Return to center. Copy. Here the firefighters are demonstrating being at a collapse zone on the corner of a structure, going to demonstrate a packing house loop in defensible space on the structure. Firefighters place the nozzle underneath the hose line which will help create the friction and sit on top of it, and then flow the hose line and reach the objective.